Let's bring in the man who has been working on this bill for 20 years, Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much for being here tonight. Um, that's My the pleasure. first question. What happened with the messaging here? Uh, why is there such a disconnect in what people think they're going to get and what the numbers are telling us they will get? Well, when people are bombarded with that kind of rhetoric, no wonder they're a little confused. When they're bombarded from the letter, rhetoric from the left and from a lot of people in the media that this is going to hurt them, this is going to raise their taxes, it's going to do all their things, people are going to be confused. You know, this was the kind of debate I'm told they had in 86 when Reagan passed his tax reform and the polling before they passed it, only 18% of Americans at the time thought they were going to get a tax cut. So this is the kind of hyperbolic rhetoric you have when we're doing monumental reform, which lets people keep more of their own hard-earned dollars, which gets our businesses in sync with the rest of the world so we're not punishing them and losing jobs. The left hates this. They're not for it. And what the news you're seeing today, just in hours, you just mentioned in your lead-in, AT&T, $1,000 bonus for, what, 200,000 employees, a billion-dollar capital yeah. investment. Their CEO tells me that's 7,000 jobs right there. Comcast, $1,000. You just said all of these things. Right. That's just hours after this thing just passed here in the House today. Yeah, that news broke Imagine. late today. Let, let me ask you a question, though. You, you've been at this a long time, as you've said yourself, 20 years. We've watched you talk about it for, for that long. You ran on it with Mitt Sorry. Romney. What do you think <laughs> yeah. was different now in this environment? Um, and why were, you, why were you able to make this happen now? We made a promise to the American people that we would do this if they gave us this opportunity. We made a promise that if elected, this is what we would do. We're keeping our promise. I, as Speaker of the House, all the Senate Republicans, all the House Republicans, and President-elect Donald Trump, President-candidate Donald Trump, we told the American people, this is what you do if you elect us. This is what we are going to do. And guess what, Martha? We just did it. All right, and we so told people so this year, we'll get it done by the end of the year. We just did it. So I, I've been listening to you for a long time on this topic, mm -hmm. and, and you've always been twofold. There's two parts to this story. There's the tax reform and the tax cuts, and then there's the entitlement cuts. That's right. That's right. The deficit right. is set to balloon right. over the next 24 months based on the numbers that we're seeing. You know, that, that's, that's the real payoff because that's yeah. what we spend 70 to 80 percent of our tax dollars on, funding all of these entitlements. Are you going right. to stick that's around, right. Mr. Speaker, to see yes, that I, part yeah, of your promise yeah, through? Yeah, yes, I am, number one. Number two, uh, just so you know, Martha, the House has passed all of these bills. The House passed the biggest entitlement reform bill ever passed by a Congress in May, our health care bill. Unfortunately, the Senate fell basically a vote short from doing that. So what are we going to do in 2018? We're going to pick up where we left off and get back at reforming health care. We're going to get back at reforming these entitlements. And we're going to take on welfare reform, which is another big entitlement program, where we're basically paying people, able-bodied people, not to work, and we're depriving them with all these disincentives from going into the workforce. This good economy we're going to get out of this, this faster-growing economy, is going to produce higher wages and more demand for good-paying jobs. Well, you know what, and that's what's going to... So welfare reform is the perfect time to do welfare reform. Democrats can't wait for you to, to take that move because they think that's going to help them a lot in 2018. When you look at the they, generic matchup right now, taxes Democrats are up too. by 11 percent in House mm. races if you just pick you know, a Democrat over a Republican. So how are you going to tackle these things and still maintain your majority in 2018? I'll take results over rhetoric any day of the year of the month. The results that we produce with these reforms is what we care about. The hyperbolic political rhetoric between now and then is what Democrats thrive on. We're going to go get the results that we promised the American people we would do. Remember this. Republicans, Donald Trump, Senate Republicans, House Republicans, we all said that we're going to take these issues on. We're taking them on. We said we'd get tax reform done by Christmas. We've done that. People want able-bodied people who are on welfare to go to work. They want us to get people out of poverty into the workforce. That's good for them. That's good for the economy. It's good for the federal budget. All right, let, let so, yeah, we're taking these things out. And by the way, Martha, those results, I'll take them over this hyperbolic rhetoric any day. All right. So, so let me, how much of what we saw today has to do with President Trump? Because, you know, we all remember um, there were times during the course of the campaign when you said some very unkind things about him. You were not supportive. Uh, of him becoming president. There, the word is that your relationship has improved in, in oh, recent yeah. months. Is that, is that true? And, you know, what has, what has changed about that relationship? Why did it change? We didn't know each other before. We know each other now. We get along very, very well. We talk all the time. And we have common goals, common principles, common agenda, common objectives. And that is to help the American people improve their lives. And after the election, we met and we said, here is the agenda that we all ran on. 
we all agreed this is what we want to do. This is the agenda we want to do, and we're in the midst of executing that agenda. So the merger, the friendship that we've established, the cooperation that we have is on behalf of the people who elected us and gave us this opportunity, an opportunity we're not going to blow. We've just proven that today. We're getting tax cuts and tax reform yeah. done. Biggest one in 31 years. I think this is bigger than the 86 tax reform, right, frankly. So, so that's a lot and, of plans. So that's why. That's yeah. a lot of plans that you have. Um, are you going to stay beyond 2018? How many years do you see yourself staying on I, I, I don't on know how speaker? many years. If you, if you asked me two years ago whether I'd be sitting here as Speaker of the, uh, of the House, I would never have believed that. So I can't tell you how many, what I'm going to do years from now. I have no clue what, what that is. But I know this agenda matters. I'm excited about this agenda. I'm excited about this victory. And I'm excited about sticking around and getting more of these victories and helping lead our team to getting these things done for the American people. Well, it's probably going to take more than I'll a year. So results. past 2018? I'll take those results any day over those over Past those 2018, rhetoric. Mr. Speaker? Who knows? I mean, who knows how long this is going to take and how long we're going to be there. I'm going to stay here and get this done because I believe in this, and we're, it's working. By the way, I just really believe when people see the withholding go down, when they see more money in their paychecks, when they see all these announcements of all these investments, when they see these bonuses as a result of tax reform, that's the result that we expect. That's the result that we're getting. And that's going to trump this hyperbolic, crazy left rhetoric we're getting every day. Speaker Paul Ryan, uh, always good to speak with you, sir. Thank you, you very too, much. And congratulations. I know you worked a long time uh, to see this day. So we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. See you.